weather today in North Carolina is literally perfect. This is honestly the weather that I've been waiting for all summer. Summer is cute. It's fun the first maybe month or so. But girl, this summer was so hot. So hot. It's like in the mid 70s today. Perfect. It's just the perfect crisp fall day. I love saying that. <laughs> Every morning I wake up and go outside, I'm like, it feels like a crisp fall morning. Anywho, welcome back to the vlog again. And I say again because I started this vlog on Saturday evening and I feel like it was just all over the place. So let's just rewind it back start over hey girl hey it's monday i'm on my work lunch break i just love that i live close enough to work that i'm able to come home for lunch i don't come home all the time but i had to come home today because i need to walk the dog and also because i was running late this morning and didn't really have time to pack a lunch so i just figured i'll just come home and eat some leftovers that i cooked or leftovers from what I cooked the other night. I made some black bean soup, white rice, and the pollo asada chicken from Trader Joe's. So good. So, so good. It's already marinated, and honestly, it looked like a big lump of chicken. When I first bought it, it was my first time buying it, but when I actually opened up the pack, it made about four to five big, juicy pieces of thinly sliced chicken breast it was really good so if you ever see that at trader joe's it's in the meat section with all the raw meats it's the pollo asada chicken get it thank me later so recap of what was going on when i started the vlog saturday i went out with the girls we went to sephora tj maxx home goods Picked up a few pieces from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. And then Sunday. Noelle had a sleepover Saturday night. So Sunday we just spent the morning with the girls, Noelle and Yoma. Key planted the fall crops. I don't think I got that on camera, but this fall we're doing red carrots. It's like Kyoto carrots, orange carrots, purple carrots, spinach, asparagus. I think that's it. Oh, and a lettuce medley. I wanted to throw a fruit in there, but I mean, it's not too late. But yeah, pretty much we just had a chill weekend. I spent the rest of the day Sunday just chilling. I had big plans Sunday. I wanted to meal prep and also juice, but things just didn't go as planned. After lunch, honestly, me and Key just came home and crashed out. All of us, me, Key, Noel, took a nap, and that was wraps. We just spent quality time and I figured I didn't have to meal prep since I had this leftover food. I don't want to be wasteful, so but yeah, spent quality time because Key is gone again. Again, y'all, he was just in California for 13 days for work training and he left again this morning to Seattle for training again. So yeah. Solo parenting this week, pray for me. I did actually vlog on Saturday and Sunday. I vlogged like bits and pieces of the day. So let's cue the clips. Let's roll those clips back from the weekend. We went to Sephora, TJ Maxx and Home Goods today. And I want to show y'all my finds because I feel like we low key striked gold. I didn't get a lot, but I feel like what I found gorgeous most of the things i got came from home goods so home goods haul shall we starting with this bowl i am a sucker for this wood what is it called like acacia wood or something like that i don't know but i have some snack bowls like this and i saw this and immediately had to come in my cart this is the perfect bowl for serving Imagine it as a salad bowl, a popcorn bowl, anything, just anything. This bowl was perfect and she was only $15. I feel like it goes with the vibe of my home so well. 
And I also picked up this vase. Is it a vase? I don't know, but this decorative, I don't even know the material, but just, just look how gorgeous she is. In one of my previous vlogs, I mentioned that the color palette for this house was like wood accents, terracotta, sage green, olive green. So I just thought that this was perfect and it matches my decor so well. And it's also perfect for fall decor because of the color, but can be used year round. This is like a, it reminds me of like a stone, but it's not really stone. This is like a ceramic airbrush. No, not airbrush, but like brush stroke painted co-op picture vase situation. I plan to put some autumn leaves in here, just like a few plants to stick out of it. I just thought this was perfect. So now I have to figure out where she's gonna go. And then, look. <laughs> I get so excited about home stuff. That's how you really know my frontal lobe is developing. Almost 25. Anyway, anyway, it's a candle. A beautiful candle. I love this so much because it doubles as a candle and a piece of decor. So when the candle goes out, I don't have to throw this away because this is just gorgeous. Wood. You know, I love it right up my alley. I know these fall candles hate to see me coming because I burn them every single day. I purchased two fall candles in August. It's September 7th and the candles are all gone. They're burnt out, melted. It's time for some new ones. I got a veggie chopper. I've gone my whole life without using one of these and I'm pretty sure this is gonna make my prep work, my cooking dinner so much faster and then the pieces that i really went for are these baking dishes i wanted a good set of high quality ceramic baking dishes i really want to get in my cooking and my hosting bag and like host holidays football parties whatever it is i just want to host and i want to make sure that i have good quality cookware dinnerware all that jazz sam actually found these for me but i couldn't pass it up because they're just so heavy and such good quality. You can't really see the detail on camera. It's just not doing it enough justice, but it's like a really pretty cream colored. It almost looks slime wash, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I got that square one and then I got a slightly larger one. I think I'm actually gonna use this tomorrow to bake some chicken but anyway yeah they're just super good quality and in my opinion they were at a really good price point this one was only 16 dollars and then the square one was only 15. you can't beat that anywho happy saturday welcome to another vlog i haven't vlogged in so long since turks and caicos which was the beginning of august no i did vlog when i got back from that anyway i haven't vlogged in a long time so i just decided why not pick up the camera and start a vlog i don't really have much going on for today i just went out to the stores that's it <laughs> noelle's about to have a sleepover and we're just waiting on q to get home gonna cook dinner clean the house the norm tomorrow sunday i need to do a bit of a reset as you can see my house is like messy it's messy during the week i just give up so yeah i need to do like a little bit of a sunday reset tomorrow probably should actually order groceries today i've been using walmart plus which has been really convenient because when we first moved here we would do walmart pickup for the groceries having groceries delivered is just a lot easier on me and i'll just go to like trader joe's or the local produce stand to get like our produce for the week i just wore this blue two-piece my outfit online set today my regular regular signature <laughs> slick back i want to actually get dressed tomorrow because we're going out for lunch so i want to get cute maybe put a little makeup on i didn't spend any money today in sephora supposed to be doing a no spend september but not too much i'm still trying I'm trying.
Okay, I just got back inside. <clears throat> that was ugly. Okay, I just got back inside from walking the dog and I'm obsessed with the weather. I love how I can walk around outside and not freaking sweat bullets and smell like cut grass but what i'm most excited about for this season is to shop and it's not even for myself i'm so excited to do fall shopping for noel because i've been doing some looking and browsing and zara kids h m kids the catalog for this season top tier everything is so cute i'm about to scarf this food down so i'll probably make a coffee before i head back to work Where can I get a cheap, good milkshake? Sheets. I don't know how I feel about that. Sheets or cookout? Sheets, cookout, sheets, cookout. It is hours later. We've had dinner, walked the dog, did our shower, all of the good stuff. And now we're headed to get milkshakes because Noelle slept by herself all night last night. And the deal was, if you sleep in your bed all night by yourself, we can get milkshakes and you can get two coins for your piggy bank. Whip, got it, whip, got it, die on it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Perry or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci? No. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone. All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses, and hugs. No, I never had an issue. Go to the club with your boys, baby. I never wanted you to stay too long. Just wanted you to show me up. So won't you say my name? Say my name. If you claim you want me, it ain't no that. You acting kind of shady. You ain't been calling me baby. Oh, oh you can go and stop playing games, playing games. Really wanna give you all, but flex in front of your friends. How that works? We that you're doing the most, but we take a picture, get posted. How that works? But you talking back that shit up? Won't you say my to my? Won't you say my name, say my name If you claim you want me, it ain't no bad you hey, Noelle got, what baby, I'm sorry Is that strawberry? I think so Noelle got a strawberry milkshake and I got peach cobbler I taste yours too Which one is which? 
that yours? Mm-hmm. It's peach. peach. Make sure it's a strawberry. Mmm. Oh, That's good, baby. I had to make sure it wasn't poison. You don't want me to give you poison, right? Okay. Taste it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, girlfriend. If Key was home right now, we probably would just be getting in the bed or something, sitting on the couch. Um, I can taste the straw. It's not coming through? It's not coming through with the straw? No. Jeez Louise, that means you need a spoon. Mmm. That thing thick. She's thick. Look at my nail. This was the cutest press on set that I've ever purchased. I've had them on since August 30th, I believe. And they're just now starting to like come off. Only like two of them have come off. But these were so cute. Can you taste it now? No. Let's see. Ah, no, put the straw back, put the straw back. Oh, thank you, babe. There's no way she was gonna suck that to it through a straw. I'm afraid that you'll make a mist. This looks so good. Look at the consistency. Don't make a mess, please, mamas. Okay? I'm gonna have to go clean out my garden, mom, because I know she's gonna make a mess. Okay. We shall head back home. The music request is Kids Bop. It does. The Kids Bop version is taking me out. The Kids Bop version of everything is hilarious. Y'all know what really tripped me up is when we were playing Kids Bop on Shuffle and they had a Kids Bop version of Favorite Song. I was cracking up. But yeah, we shall head home because it is 8.15. Noelle's bedtime is in 15 minutes, which obviously we're cutting it, but... time in a day there's not ever it's been hold on let me get y'all situated we're a little crooked i need to get this vlog up like now immediately let me do that right now nothing's worse than going to upload a youtube video and you don't have any thumbnail photos this vlog is from like the week before August 24th, mind you, it's September 13th, so we're pushing a month old. I've been sitting on this footage. It's been me and this vlog for weeks now. I just... Anyway, girl. So I'm trying to upload it now. It's super long overdue, and I know some people make their thumbnails like right when they're done filming their vlog for the week or while they're filming their vlog for the week, but me, I'll always wait until I upload the vlog and then make the thumbnail and then make it public. See, maybe I need to change that because here I am stuck with damn near no 
thumbnail videos for this vlog scrambling and whatnot i'm ready to get back into my content bag at least that's what i say because i'm feeling motivated right about now but at the same time it's hard to actually execute the vision and ideas in my mind is it hard or is it just me it's probably just me there's so much that i want to do and i have such little time it's 2:22 actually and i'm gonna have to get noel pretty soon here I wrote down the things that I needed to do, which is pretty much just clean because Key's home, coming home today. And our thing is making sure that one another comes home to a clean home after traveling. So I want to tidy up. I have some laundry to fold, a little bit to put away. I don't know why I'm so nervous about uploading that vlog. You know what? Let me go link it in my broadcast channel it's probably because i haven't posted in so long i blinked my eyes and it's been a month it's been a month but i feel like once you kind of just live in the moment for a while and not worry about filming it's kind of hard to get back into it and get back into the groove for me it's like i've had to find my love for content creation again and rediscover that passion or like kind of reevaluate if that even was a passion to begin with anyway anyway it's a whole thing it's been me versus me and a lot of thoughts lately but I do really love creating content and sharing my life and documenting my journey I just sit back and watch my old vlogs all the time and I really really enjoy it and I want to continue to vlog and just film my journey of life as a young mother navigating life in her 20s and just figuring things out. I just need to sit down and reevaluate what, like, how I want to go about posting content and filming. I just have found that it's been kind of difficult to film these days, especially during the work week, because toward the end of the day, I'm just like, I'm tired. I am overstimulated. I just want silence, you know? I just want to vibe. And it gets repetitive. Like, I don't do much throughout the week. I just go to work and be a mom. Does anybody even care to see that? Like, honestly, isn't that kind of boring? <sighs> life, 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 life. Nothing's been going on. It's been boring around here, not gonna lie. But yeah, I wanna do my nails today because they look a hot mess. I was gonna go get them done today, but I'm trying. I really am trying with no spin September, but it's already almost halfway through the month and I'm failing. I'm failing. I also need to clean before key gets home back to the whole dry september no spin september thing i'm failing at it bad and i think it's because where do you draw the line where do you draw the line like it's not possible to spend absolutely no money in a month a whole month 30 days 31 days no can't do it can't do it but i just need realistic boundaries realistic expectations when it comes to that and i didn't actually sit down and think about it i just it's like okay not gonna spend any money in september no spend september not working i bought fall decor i have bought coffee out ate out a couple times i just will reevaluate and come back to the drawing I think it would be reasonable if I sat down and wrote down my rules to my dry month, like no buying coffee out or buy coffee out only twice a month or twice this month or no buying new hygiene products unless it's an absolute must. Um, no Amazon ordering unless I absolutely have to. But see, the thing about me is I'll justify anything. Around. Come here home and 
Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm in such a good mood. I just woke up blessed, happy, grateful to be alive. Just happy to be here. It's 8.40 a.m. so it's quite early. Noelle had us up at 7.30. So I got her breakfast and was like, I might as well get up and head out the door because I have things to do and today's going to be busy. I have to take back this t-shirt that I actually picked up last night in a drive up. I ordered a red 4T long sleeve t-shirt because we have a family reunion today and our color is red. Why did they give me an 18 month? Like, girl, what am I supposed to do with this? And how did you give me an 18 month when I ordered a 4T? Just how? How? So... While I'm at it, I'm going to return a few Cat and Jack items, at least try to, because I've heard that they're cracking down on the policy nowadays. But I only brought like five items, not everything I have, because <laughs> I don't want to be that girl, and I don't want them to be annoyed at me early this morning. Last time I brought some returns, the lady checking me out had an attitude, so... I'm going to do them easy today. If you know about the cat and jack return policy thing, then you know what I'm referring to. And if you don't, just Google cat and jack return policy or something like that and you should find it. But I, okay, I saw some posts on Facebook from angry Target employees basically saying that people abused that policy and was explaining what the policy was actually for apparently you're not supposed to return used items unless you're really not impressed with the quality or don't like the quality of it or something like that you don't just return it when it's used and your child outgrows it which not gonna lie and this is why you have to be cautious of what you learn from tiktok university that's what i thought the policy was for so literally three seasons now i've been buying and returning cat and jack items for noelle's daycare clothes because she just gets them dirty and messes them up anyway so maybe that's wrong i ain't supposed to do that so <laughs> i don't know anyway we're gonna we're gonna see how it turns out i also need to grab a few items which let me make a quick list because one thing about it, I will go in a store and draw a blank so fast. Like, what did I come here for? And then end up leaving without what I actually came for. So, exchange red t shirt. Key wants me to pick him up some true fruit, of course. I need some Nespresso pods, coffee creamer, and then. I need to do my UPS returns, which are in the seat next to me. Is that it? I think that's it. Made a coffee this morning before leaving the house. It's a brown sugar espresso. It is so good. The only ingredient or sweetener that I use is brown sugar. And it's just surprisingly so good. No syrup needed. People are out in these streets already. Already. I don't come out early enough. I'm trying to come to the store when there is nobody here. Nobody. It's looking like I need to be here at 7 on a dot. It feels really good outside today. Guess what's on my feet? Uh, <laughs> it's fun. I don't care. I got back like $70. So here we are taking a browse at what they have for fall stuff for the kids. The lady who did my return was very kind and patient in helping me. Shut up. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh, this is so cute only if it was long sleeve though oh but it's on sale they actually have some really cute stuff look at these like cargo sweats honestly they looking like gauchos a little bit it does say crop these are gauchos <laughs> they're gauchos 
I think I can do these. I'm about to run up a bag, I fear. I fear, I fear. It's pretty cute. I want to get her like a bunch of long sleeve dresses to wear to daycare. I knew. I just knew. Oh wait, this was a 5D. I knew I was going to come in here and spin a bag. 4T, this 4T looking a little sh medium, girl. I'm honestly scared to know the total because when it comes to shopping for Noel, I know no limits and pick up any and everything. There's so much. <laughs> I swear these weekends go by a little bit too fast. But yeah, we've been out all day. I've been up since 7.30. How the hell do I open this? I've been up since 7.30 and Noelle had a hair appointment at 10. She fell asleep early last night, so I had to wake up super early and give her a bath and wash her hair and everything. So did that. And then we went to her hair appointment at 10, which lasted two and a half hours. On the way home, we went to Trader Joe's to do our grocery haul. Um, this week was a $400, probably even more. Let's do the math real quick. What is 285 plus 52 plus 150, no 100, $437? That's a lot. That's a lot. But we had to re-up on some Sam's Club items and that's what really took the bill to the top. I ordered Noelle this bonnet from Walmart. It is so cute. She has one. It's like reversible. It's blue on the inside, champagne colored on the outside. But she doesn't like wearing it. I figured maybe if I get a pink one that has little stars and rainbows and whatnots on it that she would like to wear it. So I hope that she wears this. She has to wear something because she cannot mess these braids up. I paid a lot of money for that. Also got her this little shower cap, which I think is so cute. I love like the little toddler size stuff. Anyway, anywho, I have a bunch of stuff in the kitchen to do. Y'all see all those groceries? Mind you, when I was at her appointment, I ordered groceries from Walmart to be delivered. So they delivered while we were gone and he put them away. He put away most of the groceries that we got from Sam's Club. But when we go to Sam's Club, when we do Sam's Club hauls, we get mostly like household things and then things that go fast like juice boxes, fruit snacks, chips. Um, I had him pick me up some of the Alani new minis. I usually order those from Walmart, but Sam's had them on sale. And they had the 24 pack and not the 12 pack. Sam's actually had quite a few stuff on sale. Like the OxyClean was on sale. The Downy Beads were on sale. So it's like an expensive haul up front. But in the long run, you're doing, you're, you're, can I speak? You are getting the savings. <laughs> so yeah, like for example, this Alani was like $21 for a 24 pack. When I order them from Walmart, it's $17 for a 12 pack. Yeah, you do the math. So we got some Alani paper plates, disposable silverware, juice boxes. Noelle loves these. We got OxyClean powder. I could not do my laundry without this OxyClean powder anymore. If I don't have this OxyClean powder, my clothes just don't feel clean. And then we got some downy oh no this isn't even a, the downy kind y'all we got Febreze plugins and these downy scent beads but I still key a list I sent photos with the list of the scents of the plugins and the beads that we that I wanted 
This isn't it. This isn't it. I always hear people say if your shopper's a male, your cart's ruined. But you know what? We shall not make a fuss about it. I said something about it and he was like, but do they stink? And I was like, mm, no. Which it doesn't, but it just doesn't match. It doesn't match. Like, whimsical wonder. In the last vlog, I showed y'all my laundry combo. And it's lavender and vanilla. I don't know what whimsical wonder is. Now, it doesn't stink. I can give him that. But also, for the Febreze plugins, I get the Downy Calm, which is lavender and vanilla. So, my house scents are lavender and vanilla. But I guess this week we can do Linen Sky and Hawaiian Aloha. It's fine. It's fine. And then, of course, we got like tissue and paper towels and we got the famous um chicken nuggets and a few more items and from trader joe's and walmart we just got you know all of the basic grocery things that we normally get produce fruit vegetables we got um food today to cook because we're hosting dinner we're hosting dinner and then from walmart and trader joe's we just got the normal grocery things that we usually get um produce i got some mangoes banana red and green grapes clementines fresh green beans potatoes orange chicken if you watch my vlogs then you know she's a staple in our house a bag of lemons and all the good things one seasonal thing that i did pick up from trader joe's is this maple butter that i'm so excited to try like i think this would be bomb on a blueberry bagel or just on a piece of plain toast so good and i got this pumpkin puree so that i can make pumpkin coffee i picked up a chobani pumpkin spice from target yesterday but yeah i have a lot to do i gotta do the dishes i think i mentioned already we're hosting dinner yeah we're having grilled chicken what else potato wedges that's why i got like three bags of potatoes and then fresh green beans look at this I forgot that was on my hand. Just thinking about how much I have to do. And I'm making a peach cobbler with this grandma. We're going to make a peach cobbler together. It's in my best interest to meal prep today, too. I'm getting overwhelmed thinking about all of it. But I think I'm going to do something easy for meal prep, like air fry some salmon and then make a pasta salad. Because, girl... I'm not cooking a whole meal. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me put y'all on to something though. So these chicken bites are like Chick-fil-A dupes and they sell them at Sam's Club only for like $11 for this big three pound bag. But these chicken nuggets and these Sister Schubert's Baker style yeast rolls from Walmart, the ones in the foil pan, chicken minis. It's chicken minis. Chicken minis at home. And I also picked up these Sister Schubert cinnamon rolls because, y'all, Sister Schubert eats down. She eats down. Okay. She makes the best frozen yeast rolls that there ever will be. And these Orida Krispy Crowns? Yeah. Chick-fil-A. You can't tell me it's not. Mm -hmm. 